Welcome back. I'm Dylan Black, and uh, you know what? We have an amazing bunch of people here today with the Odyssey Theater. First of all, we'll start with the director of this amazing production. His name is Attila Clement. How are you? Good. Good. Good to see you here. Um, and now we have a couple of uh, characters here. But uh, first of all, let me uh, the real names: Suzanne Roberts Smith. Uh, sorry, Beatrice. Did I say it wrong? Beatrice. Beatrice. Oh, not even close. Okay. And we have uh, David Warburton as well, who's Ottavio. I said that right. See, see. Say si? Say si. Okay, now, do you not speak uh, the English, or what's going on here? So we speak. Mm. It depends. Mm. Oh, yeah, it depends yeah. On, on, on who's talking to you, <laughs> and if you want to answer questions, no, like on live talk. television. Okay. We can talk. It's live English TV. is good. Okay. <laughs> okay. Attila, please tell us about, uh, now, you're the, this is the first time you're directing. This is the first time I've directed here at Odyssey, yes. Uh, I've been uh, performing there um, over the years, uh, three or four times. I work with uh, Laurie Stevens, the artistic director, and I've done uh, various workshops, but this is my first chance at directing a show. Okay. Now, I'm only asking people to pronounce it because I, I even uh, messed up a few names here uh, because we're talking about mass theater, physical theater, Commedia del Dauti. Mm -hmm. like Commedia del Arte. I'm having trouble with this here today. <laughs> well, we bring in a a lot of the Italian uh, uh, influence here. Obviously, the Commedia dell'arte is a style of theater that comes from uh, 16th, 17th century Italy, and so that's the uh, the root sort of of our uh, of our style of theater with the half mask, and so they can speak always, but the, the upper yeah. part of the ha uh, face is covered. <laughs> um, and it's a it's a, a style of theater that I studied uh, for many years in uh, in Europe, and then um, have now since uh, done professionally here and there. Yeah, well, it's funny. I apologize, David. I didn't know you were actually wearing a mask. Yeah, that's yeah. true. It was a Sorry. rough night. Yeah, I know, right? You still like, even have your you still even have your uh, your your night uh, I drawn. do. I didn't get dressed. So. Oh, particularly for that. <laughs> that's okay. Uh, the Amorous Servant, Theater Under the Star series. So it's going on right now, and it's happening until August 20th. So tell us about this play. Yeah, so the production is uh, from the 17th century. It's uh, uh, Carlo Goldoni, who is famous for uh, a play called The Servant of Two Masters. Um, and this play uh, takes place uh, in Verona, where we have a family that's been uh, sort of torn apart by uh, uh, a young wife who's the second wife of an older gentleman who has a lot of money. She's after his money and the will. And uh, in the meantime, she's kicked out um, his son. Uh, and the the servant of the son is trying to make everything better. So she has to kind of manipulate all the other characters and match make uh, the, the son and a, and a, a lover together okay. while getting the uh, the sort of um, gold digging wife out of the picture. Oh, you know, so, yeah, because yeah. I think she has something to say about this. <laughs> it's all a perspective, huh? <laughs> oh, okay, because I can, I can feel the heat in the room here. That's right. Like people are angry. That's right. At, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what what that move was, but okay, uh, 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 Otevio, can you tell us about uh, your character a little bit? Uh, well, he's, uh, he's old and he has a young wife okay. who is very, very young um, and he loves her completely and utterly. He's a little childish, he gets upset yeah. and he's upset because she's made his uh, son mm. leave for some reason. Okay. It doesn't show your respect, eh? <laughs> okay, and, and your character on the end? Sure, uh, sorry, should I take the mask off so I can speak to you as myself? <laughs> sure, you can okay. do whatever you'd like. Great. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah? Um, yeah, Beatrice, I, I feel, is a lot actually like the protagonist who is celebrated because the protagonist um, is very, very thoughtful and makes a lot of change happen in the play for that pleases everyone. But okay. Beatrice is looking out for her own uh, self and her, the sustainability of her family and her son. So she creates a lot of change that folks aren't so happy about and then she's a little bit vilified. Okay. But a real pleasure to play. I bet. It's fun to sometimes play with the bad guy a bit, right? Like yeah, and it's all perspective, really. Yeah. Is. Okay. So The Amorous Servant, now this is part of the Theatre Under the Stars series that's happening? Yes, yeah, so uh, Odyssey Theatre has been around for 32 years, mm -hmm. and uh, every year uh, there's a, a main stage production that happens um, uh, in Strathcona Park. We rehearse for the better part of a month, and then it's performed for the better part of a month. So okay. it's one of the few uh, productions uh, um, of professional theatre happening in Ottawa. Okay. It's uh, completely under the under the stars, so there's no rooftop. We uh, have to face uh, weather and bugs, but we're well equipped for it. And yeah. uh, uh, audiences are re very, very loyal. So we see them coming in uh, a good... Uh, half an hour to an hour early to come check out the, really? the get good seats and uh, uh, it's a really fascinating experience to be outside the trees or surround the set so the lighting and everything happens uh, within the uh, the confines of the park and we hear the the birds nearby and the on that's the river beautiful. And, yeah. that's wonderful for a summer uh, evening daytime anytime it's just nice to be
be outside like that. Oh, yeah. uh, can we get a, a bit of a clip of what to expect here, like an excerpt okay. from uh, the Amherst servant? Where, where do we pick up the story here? So uh, they're just uh, discussing whether or not to make them the will, and Beatrice is doing her best to make sure Otavio co calls in the notary, All or right. the notario in Take the town. Tell the notary to, to come some other time. No more business today. Caro Signor Otavio, you're not yourself for these days. Don't you feel well? Oh, are you sick of me too, Beatrice Pazienza? Oh, oh, what a thing to say. I worry more about your health than my own. When I die, it will break my heart to leave oh, you. Don't be melancholy. If I die, will you take another husband? <laughs> not a chance. Uh, me neither. You treat me so well. <laughs> Do I treat you well in tuto? Si, in tuto. <laughs> but if you were to die, what would become of me, poverina? Look, I haven't I made you an endowment of 6,000 scudi? Si, si, you wrote a little piece of paper, but it's not been validated. Oh, well, I've been assured it's valid, but to put your mind at ease, I'll have it notarized tomorrow instead in my desk. Hmm. Well, what's a 6,000 scudi? If I'm to be left a widow with the son I have, eh, Signor Otavio? I know someday I'll end in disgrace. I know someday I'll weep for having been so selfless. <laughs> Beatrice, uh, don't worry. Oh. I take care okay. of everything. Okay, that's amazing. <laughs> uh, for more, I, I recommend people go check out the entire play. Absolutely. Okay, so cool. when is it running? It's running, it's until, running August right now until August 20th. You can check out uh, odysseytheater.ca. Wonderful. Thank you very much Thank for you. all of you. you for being here today. That was very entertaining. Uh, we have much more coming up. Greek Fest 2017 is also coming. It's busy this summer in the city. More details next.